I had a feeling that I wanted to change my career when my career was actually going very well. And I had a very interesting assignment to the Netherlands from, from the U.S. And I was traveling the world and it was, it was an amazing time in my life. But it felt that something was missing. I felt that I needed to do something that made more of a personal difference to me. And I've always cared about the, the planet. I've always cared about um, all the different creatures that inhabit it. And it felt like I could do something more with my talents and my skills. And I've put a lot of effort and time into my work. And I wanted to, to get more of a personal reward from it. I asked myself the question, if someone were to write my eulogy, or what would they say at my funeral? What did I do? What did I accomplish? What did I do with my time on this earth? Did I did I make a difference? Did I change anything for anyone? Um, did I use my time wisely? Did I live so that I didn't have as much regret? There are a lot of people that helped me make the decision to, to change my career in a way that I would look at them and think that that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I, again, I had a really interesting career, but I didn't think that I necessarily wanted to to be in the same place as a lot of people in, in 30 years or in 40 years. Um, and I've met a lot of really inspiring people uh, on on my way, uh, people who who made made me believe in in, in that change is possible. Um, as anyone probably contemplating career change. Um, well, people don't really know where to start. Um, I had the idea that I wanted to do something with the environment, but I had no idea how to transition from, from my corporate and um, accounting background to something in the sustainability field. So I thought the most um, natural way would be to go back to school. So I decided to do a master's degree in environmental management at um, Oxford University, and I was um, fortunate to have a scholarship to do that. Um, what it's allowed me to do is to know the issues. Um, I've learned a lot about all the, uh, the factors affecting the, the environmental The reaction problem. from my professional environment when I first decided to leave uh, was, um, well, <laughs> almost incredulous really because a lot of people didn't understand why I would leave a very successful career um, to do what in 2004 was still considered very hippie, tree-hugging type of work. Um, it was difficult to, to explain to some people, but people who knew me well and my friends were very supportive. You know, I think it's very important to have people around you who believe in, in, in you and encourage you along the way because it is a very well, difficult sometimes step, particularly when it's a new field and the chances of failure are still quite high. My professional life changed tremendously um, with the transition. Again, I went from being a specialist in a very narrow field that was interesting but I didn't really deep down care about very much, um, to, to being a lot more general. Um, being a lot more uh, management focused um, and growing a small company is, is tremendously personally rewarding. So not only do I, I apply my professional skills and um, my finance qualifications, but also lead a team of people um, to deliver on, on in getting renewable energy more into the mainstream. Um, it's a lot closer in terms of professional connections with people. Um, it feels a lot more we're working as a team to achieve a particular goal that's important to all of us rather than being a small cog in a, in a giant wheel of a, of a big corporate. So it feels a lot more personally and professionally rewarding to me. What I'd like to see in the future is for um, more companies to enter the sector and more people to be drawn to to really make an impact. It's still a very niche niche market and still um, is not on the you know in the mainstream. Um, but opportunities are, are really vast, uh, both from a business perspective and for NGOs and for um, even government organizations to, to make a huge huge difference. And we really have to speed up. Um, the 
the level and the, the pace of change to make to make um, to make a difference in time to, for the world really so um, I think the opportunities are vast and um, I just want to be in this sector and um, continue making a, a difference and we'll see what happens.